Hey my friend, um, <clears throat> these are some of the drills that we can discuss to help uh, with your issues. Uh, now I learned my golf in Scotland, um, I was played scratch at the age of 17, uh, but we couldn't play golf for about three months of the year, snow, wind, weather, whatever. Um, so how did we keep our game, how did we keep our swings tuned uh, during those bad months? Uh, the answer is we worked on drills indoors. Now here's a player who's got some issues with lower body movement. You can see that he's got too much movement on the backswing, too much movement on the downswing, and he's got a little bit of imbalance uh, as he goes through the point of impact. Right. In your house, there will be a lounge chair similar to this one. And what you can do is you can stand behind it with both knees just off the back. Now as the backswing goes back, the, the leading knee, which would be your left, will move in towards the chair. Uh, it shouldn't contact it too much. But the trailing knee will come off that uh, because that's the function of the rotation. Uh, on the downswing, uh, the opposite happens. The leading knee wants to move away and the trailing knee wants to move in. Uh, what the back of the chair does is it effectively limits the amount of bottom half rotation that you can have through the point of impact. The object to then is to slide the bottom half over, to come off your right side, to push over with your bottom half, uh, so you're keeping the bottom half um, from rotating too much and you're trying to encourage it to slide over uh, towards the target. Not too much, not too early, but certainly keep it off the back of the chair. Now, in a lot of cases, uh, players overswing. I think you tend to do the same thing too. Now this player has a had an issue with r rotating himself up, uh, where he took the, uh, the you know the the bottom half was coming in too far. He was liberating his trailing heel and it wasn't pushing over. What we did was we put a sim simply put a, a soft drink bottle down against his trailing heel, and as he comes through into the point of impact he knocks the bottle over. Now, if you're rotating the bottom half, if you're rotating it away, you can't do that. But with simply a, a soft drink bottle, encourages the, the club, the player, to push over and get his bottom half not rotating, but sliding and then rotating uh, after the point of impact. Now, this, this drill here is one that we used, uh, I've used many, many times with players. But as you can see, it's a stick that is held up against the body at the point of address. As you swing back, it comes off. As you swing through, uh, if you don't rotate the body properly, that stick will smack you on the side of the body. So it encourages top half rotation, which is necessary, but limits bottom half rotation uh, until after, until essentially after the point of impact. Now, many players are surprised with how little um, professionals actually practice, how few golf balls they hit in a day. The reason behind that is their swings are grooved. Uh, when, as soon as they hit a shot, they know exactly what they've done and they know what to do without actually hitting golf balls. Now, so, now some players have got the luxury of having a caddy sit on the ground behind them, controlling their knees, holding the knees, encouraging rotation or discouraging rotation. Most of us haven't got caddies sitting behind us. This particular exercise says that you can rehearse your golf swing without hitting balls, without even swinging a club. Put a club across your chest and rehearse the actual movements that you need to have once you get to the driving range. I've stood in supermarkets and rehearsed my golf swing. Get a few funny looks from people, but who cares? You can rehearse your golf swing without hitting balls. You can rehearse your golf swing without actually swinging a golf club. You can get quite quick uh, through the point of impact. It's all a case of muscle memory, if you want to call it that, getting to the stage where you're rehearsing it properly. I think those drills, those movements, that attitude uh, will help you as you go forward. If you have questions, and I'm happy to answer them, and uh, bye for now.